I'm going to tell you about the root cause of um, allergy and asthma. Um, allergy, uh, asthma, and eczema are genetic illnesses, and they're actually caused by the same genes that cause the same type of inflammation. And I'm going to explain to you what this type of inflammation is, and I'm going to use asthma as my example, but it'll apply to the uh, other things. Um, inflammation, the best example I can give you of what inflammation is, is what happened to my, my finger when I, when I picked it this morning. Um, af after it bled, um, it turned red and got a little puffy and it was clear stuff. And now this inflammation that's caused by trauma, the inflammation that's going on in your nose or your lungs or your skin is caused by allergens, the things you're allergic to, or just the allergic condition. But it's the same type of stuff that's going on. Now, I picked my thumb last week and it's, it's healed up now and I didn't put any medicine on it um, and it wasn't by magic. It's because my body makes its own natural chemical to take care of inflammation, whether that's due to trauma or due to, due to my asthma or my allergies. And that natural chemical is called cortisol. Each and every day, your body makes a little bit of natural cortisol. But it can't make any extra because cortisol also regulates our blood pressure and our potassium and our calcium. And so it can only make a little bit every day and that's why it takes several days for something like this to heal up. Well, what's going on with your asthma is that every day that your body's natural cortisol is bringing you four steps forward, your asthma and the things that you're allergic to are bringing you five steps backwards. And so a little bit each and every day, you notch down a little bit, you scar your lungs down just a little bit, and then several times a year you have hit bottom and have an asthma flare. The types of medicines that we use for asthma uh, are cortisone, not cortisol. And cortisone is contained in inhalers like Flovent and Advair, uh, Symbacort and Asthmacort. But that cortisone gets to the body's natural mechanism to heal the lungs. Um, and the cool thing about this is, is because it is synthetic and not natural, it's a little bit bigger. And so when it's soaked up, it's chewed up by the liver and metabolized and goes away. So we get to the body's natural mechanism to heal uh, the lungs uh, without causing all the side effects that extra natural cortisol would cause. And there are a lot of different medicines for asthma out there, but the bottom line is if you're not using a medicine that contains cortisone, you're probably not using a medicine that gets to the root of the problem and heals the lungs and prevents problems before they, thought, before they start. Now, one of the problems with inflammation if it's left untreated is lung scarring. The medical term for scarring is called remodeling. I don't like to use the term remodeling because if we remodel the house, that's a good thing. But most of my patients understand what scarring is. Now, I've cut my finger several times and if, if, if I've formed bad scars, we could see them on there. I'm not sure the camera can do that here. But there's some scars uh, on, on my fingers. Um, a lot of times I'll ask my patients, you know, how long they think the scars are going to last. And most of them will say, well, for the rest of your life. And that, that's probably true. Now, my scarred hands and fingers, they work fairly well. But unfortunately, when scarring develops in my lungs, uh, they don't work very well. And they don't expand as well, and the oxygen doesn't get absorbed as well. We used to think that the scarring that we see in people's lungs was caused by the pneumonias and the bronchitis and the asthma flares that, that they have. But we've learned through research, when we stick fiber optic tubes down into people's lungs and we look around in there and we collect the secretions, we look for the chemicals that we believe causes uh, the lung scarring. And it's interesting that we find the chemicals that cause the lung scarring each and every day. Good days, bad days, in between days. And so that's why it's important to use your prevention medicine every day to prevent the lung scarring. Now, in people who are unfortunate enough to have to have an operation on their lungs that have asthma, when we take a piece of their lungs, we notice that almost everybody with asthma has some degree of scarring. Even people with mild asthma have scarring almost to equal to the level of the people with medium asthma. So that's why we think it's important to use a cortisone type of inhaler, whether that be a medicine like Advair or Flovent or Pulmacort or Simbacort, on a daily basis to prevent the lung scarring.